Hello everyone, this is Ricky Cespedes, and uh, I keep on uploading uh, videos about doing uh, how to use telekinesis and talking about, you know, the pineal gland and the third eye. But it's just that I just keep on um, having these uh, these visions and these thoughts of like how to do it, you know. And I've come to realize um, um, how to do it more efficiently and how to do it more easily without having to without having to go through too much deep meditation, without having to spend time buying specific foods to get your body worked up and your brain worked up. And and, and what I want to talk about is the the chakras. I think that's how you say it, chakras. Um I want to the shock chakras, yeah. The uh what well, you know what I'm talking about. Like the chakras, you know how you see the picture with that person in the yoga pose crossing the legs. And it's like the dot, the light, you know, those lights right here in the center. And uh, what I want to get at is that, just like I spoke about in the videos, is that you do not need uh, a lot. You don't need to go through a lot to get yourself awakened spiritually. You do not need to go out of your own way to awaken your own self. First of all, you're already awake. You walk around and you're seeing things <laughs> and your, your body is already there. You are the body and the body is you. You're intertwined. Your spirit is intertwined. Your pineal gland. Um, I want to talk about the pineal gland. Um, I just found out that um, scientifically it can become calcified because it has liquid in it. But this is what I, but not only that, this is what it, when it gets good. What I want to explain is that just, is that you can activate your chakras you can activate your pineal gland it's already activated it's already there you can become connected and become aware of these things by just having sheer will sheer will using your life force and your spirit the, sh the will of your of your existence the will of your of yourself of your self-awareness the sheer will of your heart and belief you're able to bypass even things even things like like having a tumor in the brain and still connect to the pineal gland even when you have uh, even when you have uh, um, an infection in the brain or you have a sickness even when you're uh, disabled you have a leg broken off with sheer will the will to just go the will to survive the will that you believe in yourself the will to live the will to believe and to go and to create and to and to cross and move boundaries the will of just the will of you you're able to bypass whatever is happening negatively in your body and in and emotionally in your life you're able to bypass all those things even without the ability of having to have two or three hours of meditation without having to eat specific foods or drink specific liquids like ormus without having to um to uh without having to uh, to have some medicines to make you feel better you don't need to do that you are you are your own activation you being alive is your own activation you are your own activator you know you you are connected to those things those things are already there the seven uh, I think the seven chakras well what is the chakras are in your body they're glands in the body there are glands in the body and they regulate the certain parts of the body and they help you to live your life, to exist and live. And um, and they're connected, they're there, they're receiving blood, they're receiving neurotransmissions, they're receiving, they're connected, they're helping you live, they're functioning, they're awakened, they're there. All you need to do is just take take um, um, take notice of them. You just have to stay focused and take notice of them. You do have to watch your diet in such a manner, but I think that general the general public doesn't need to step too far out to watch the diet to watch the diet just to activate the chakras they're there already you just have to take it take you can align your chakras just by sheer will you can align your balance of your inner self align your morality align your spirit with the chakras just with your own just you naked with no clothes just sit in the room and just just do it you know you're able to do it because you have the will if you're connected you're connected just like the universe here you can make things happen you can bypass even when you don't have the specific fruits or foods or the diet 
that they say to balance the chakras, your sheer will of your own existence can make that alignment. You just have to take notice of it and to balance your mind with your body. Balance the mind with the body. That's very important. And the pineal gland, even though we're older, they say that the, that the, the pineal gland gets calcified. Well, yes, it does get calcified because it has a liquid and, you know, we eat uh, uh, harmful things and it, it, it hardens or whatever. You know, it becomes kind of limp a little bit. But because you have a spirit and because you have will, you can still harness the pineal gland. You can still take awareness of it and use it. And, and your, your spirit is the battery of your body. Your spirit is the energy of the body. Your spirit is what makes your body go. The spirit is you and you are the spirit. You're in control of the body. You don't need specific things or situations or meditations to have to, to do. You don't have to follow a step-by-step -step rigorous thing of weeks and days and months of rigorous. You know, these YouTube videos always talk about meditate and eat right and sit and listen to music. You are the one that can manifest and create that intricacy of balance within yourself. You're the one that grabs hold of of that of that power. You're the one that's the power of your temple. You are the temple. The temple is you. You're the one that, that has to awaken out of the shell and go within yourself. You know, and and subconsciously in in, in our minds, we already know the path. We're there. We know the path to go inside ourselves. We just have to sit and think. We have to sit and think. We have to become aware and respectful of our own individuality. We have to become aware of our sensitivities, of our imaginations, of our dreams, of our hopes, of our anger, of our sadness, of our happiness. Intertwine everything that is you and go within you to discover how to align your chakras. The chakras are already aligned. They're there. It, in, in the mind, the chakras become disaligned when you become uh, emotionally overwhelmed. When the situation in your life becomes overwhelming, that's when your chakras become aligned. When you're focused and you're happy, your chakras become aligned. When you're sleeping and you're calm, your chakras become aligned. When you become physically harmed or hurt emotionally at the same time, your chakras become disaligned. When you recover and you and your wounds your wounds heal, your chakras become aligned. Living, just being alive, your chakras are aligned. Your chakras are already there. The chakras is a mystical interpretation, a mystical spiritual interpretation of the body working, or the body working with the spirit. You know, it, it, the body is the spirit, and the spirit is the body. It's all one thing. You are the body. You are the spirit. The spirit is you, and the spirit is the body. And it's all all these three things is all together. And the third eye is there. You can take harness and take control of it. Because of sheer will, you are able to awaken your own third eye and journey into a mystical world that is the universe. The, the soul is the battery of the body. The soul is in control of the body. The, the soul is the, is, the, is the thing that is able to reach out and go around the impossible and make the thing, make anything possible. It's able to go around because they say that when you have a tumor in your brain, that it pushes the brain out of balance. But just as long as you're uh, conscience and you have will, you can still, even through the pain of your own life and troubles in your life, your sheer will works to perpetuate your spirit to work around the impossible to make anything possible. You know? And that's what I want to talk about in this video. And uh, I don't want to talk about the chakras or talk about chakras. Talk about the pineal gland. And that that you you know basically you just it's your spirit, man. You are the spirit, and the spirit is you. You know you can make anything happen. You don't have to have specific foods or have to go through all these meditations or anything like that. The just living, being sleeping eight hours in a day that's enough meditation to guide you. Wanting the will to open yourself and to enlighten yourself. What is enlightenment? Enlightenment is anything. Enlightenment is the is the is the is the need and want to better yourself. Stop smoking. That right there is one level up, closer to enlightenment. Wanting to uh, to stop addiction of anything. That's another level up. 
Anything that you want to stop that you believe is an ugly part of you will reach, will push you closer to to um, to better understanding your life and your spirit and to better understanding how to take hold of the third eye and to journey into your own self and to align your chakras, anything that is positive. It's because everybody's life, everybody's an individual. They have their, everyone has their own way of their own balance of themselves. Their own way of how they discover themselves. And so the chakras are there. They are you. You don't have to go through read books or nothing like that. You are the balance. You are the destruction. You are the creativity. You are the path and you are the the dis disjointment. You are the rhythm. You are you are the brokenness, you are the whole, you are bad, you are good. You know, we're all everything. Just like how I said that thoughts are thoughts and lights and energy is all atoms are all part of space and time. Uh, past, present, and future. We exist in all possibilities of what the future can hold. We can be ugly, we can be mean, we can be happy, we can be beautiful. It's all up to us. We're the ones with the strength. We can bypass anything. We can do anything. And this is what we can is. And um, the chakras, it's not really hard to understand. You can read about it or whatever. But the chakras, it's how you interpret what the chakras are. That's what the chakras is. How you want to align your own idea of what the chakras are, then you will align it to a positive manner. What you believe the pineal gland is and what the third eye is, you manifest it. Whatever you believe it to be and how you want to get there to align the chakras and to hold grasp of the spirit world and to open your third eye, how, however you imagine it, is how you will get there. Do it in a, uh, in a, and do it in a, in a positive manner. Do it that enlightens you, that perpetuates you. Learn the foundations of what you read from the Chinese and from ancient Egyptians and learn all this stuff. And then find your own imaginative path, your own yellow brick road to discover what the chakras is for you personally and your third eye and your pineal gland. You know, you have the power to guide you in the right direction. You have the power. And as Rika says, it is, you guys watching, I hope this was very informative and very enlightening. But everything is already awakened. The pineal gland, the third eye, everything is already... We couldn't be alive if they were not functioning with us day to day. They guide us interweavingly. In between the lines, they're working with us. The chakras, the pineal gland, the third eye, they're all there. Giving us warnings. We could not be alive. We could not exist without them. They're there. They're helping us. If we just didn't take notice, they're there. Rick Cespedes, thank you guys. God bless.